Hello everyone, Precure Stuff, and today I'll be talking about how Arya Futaba, the newest idol and the latest recipient of Starlings, fits into the growing cast of Icotta Stars. Futaba Arya is a brand new character from Season 2. Her design reminds you of Fuari from Prepara Season 2 because she does have a nature theme going on, and she's the new muse of Shira Torihima's brand My Little Heart. Now in Season 1, it was implied that Hime was going to give the brand to Yume. However, after Yume got her own brand, Rainbow Parfait, it's quite clear that's not going to happen. Seeing as Yume already has her star wings, it only made sense for them to give Arya her own star wings considering they couldn't share. The idea of sharing has been teased with Kirara and Akko, but I highly doubt Akko will get the wings seeing as she barely has any screen time. Futaba Ari is a first year and has joined Venus Arc so that she can spy for Shira Torihime to see what's going on at Venus Arc and so that Elza Ford can see just how far her star wings can take her. So far as a character, she seems pretty interesting. She's been showing these characters all these flowers and talking about how they describe their personalities. Kind of reminds me of Heart Cat Precure with the heart flowers going on, using flowers to describe the character's personality. However, I'm not sure why she needed to be included. We already had plenty of candidates for Star Wings, and it just doesn't make sense to give her Star Wings in her first year. I mean, think about it, once Yume and the rest of S4 graduates to the third year, she'll be in her second year and she'll already have Star Wings, so I'm not sure how they're going to find a way to one up that or a way to give her something higher to achieve. She got star rings on her first performance, which is hard enough to believe unless you're Elza, but we don't know how Elza got her star wings. But I genuinely don't know how she's going to impact the story. She hasn't really done much apart from join Venus Arc and look at the school. She was going to join us for, or at least it was hinted that she was going to join us for, but then it turned out that she was actually just going to join Venus Arc. This is kind of like with Carol Ar Alice, who was in Venus Arc at first, and eventually she came to S4 because Elda kicked her out. With that said, I'm really glad that Putaba Arya has joined the cast of Season 2. She looks to be an interesting character, and I'm hoping she doesn't get overshadowed like Yuzu has this season and past season because as we've seen, just because a character is getting star rings and performances, it doesn't exactly mean they'll get a lot of focus. Now, a good example of this is Akko, who's had her fair share of episodes. Well, it's not really a fair share, but she has had episodes dedicated to her. But she's only performed in duets, and she hasn't had a single solo all season. Shirogana Lily, on the other hand, shows how even with the lack of screen time, you can still remain a relevant character. Shirogana Lily has only had two episodes so far. The first one is the one where she gains her star wings, and the second one is where she puts on a concert to show how hardworking she is. I think that the reason they're able to do this is because Shirogana Lily had her own arc in season one of making her own brand, Gothic Victoria, and opening up her own store. However, Yuzu had no such arc, with the only relevant arc she got being the one where she couldn't find a dance partner, but that was solved pretty fast by having Shirogana Lily come again because they were childhood friends and as a result, Shirogana Lily was the only one who could keep up with her. Now, Akko's focus in Season 1 was mainly in acting class, and I do think she had some nice episodes, and I like the fact that she at least got to sing Animal Carnival in her S4 competition thingy, you know, that, that, that S4 selection thing that was going on at the end of the season. I really liked the song and I think she did it justice. I mean, I would have protested if she didn't get her own song, like if they had to repeat songs, but I doubt they would do that. Another example is Mahiru Kasumi, who hasn't really had too many character episodes this season. But then again, last season, Mahiru's character episodes were mostly about her and her sister. As a result, we got Yozura and Mahiru episodes combined, and therefore we could get two characters at the cost of one episode. 
Niji no Yume has definitely had the most episodes this season, seeing as she partakes in nearly all the plots. And she's the main character, so this is expected. Now, Sakura Lalore is another interesting case. At the beginning of Aikatsu Stars, she was surpassing Yume flawlessly, and it was no competition. But then, Niji no Yume started using her rainbow aura, and suddenly, it became a problem because she was beating Laura a lot. And then we had all these episodes about Laura finding her passion and going my way. And I think that this season is still, it's still hitting that nail. They're still trying to give Laura all these story arcs revolving around her, embracing her individuality. And I think that it's because she was so used to winning at the beginning that when Yume finally surpassed her, it really took a hit on how she viewed herself and other idols. I mean, even at the beginning of season 2, when Elza insulted her, I think that it really hurt Laura. Because here she was, having worked so hard, fails to get a score, and then not even get having her own brand, and here comes Elza with star wings. And at the time, Elza was the only one who, who had star wings that we had seen. We hadn't seen anyone else with Star Wings. So here comes this amazing idol, and she makes fun of Laura, so obviously Laura would feel bad. And so, I think that's why Laura's still struggling with her individuality. Now, as for Kuharu, Kuharu hasn't really done much, but she did get a performance recently. I mean, she's a designer, and she's been able to design for Perfect Queen. And she also helped Yume revive her brand Berry Parfait and rebrand it as Rainbow Berry Parfait. I look forward to seeing how Kuharu will fit into the future episodes. Unfortunately, I won't be speaking about any of the Venus Arc idols because most of them are just getting developed and we don't really know enough about them to make anything substantial. So that will be all.